The price is right! When America's most popular TV shows hit the air last Wednesday, some people in America were simply unable to tune in. More than 400 stations, including all the broadcasters in Burlington, Vermont, made the switch last week to digital TV. That meant unless you had cable, satellite, or a digitally enabled television, this is what you saw. So the folks at the Champlain Senior Center were stuck playing cards all day long. What's on this afternoon that you're going to miss? Young and restless. As a world, help me, Angeline, as a world child. Burlington's TV stations knew there'd be some problems, but they were shocked by the volume of calls from frustrated viewers at this DTV help center. Apparently, the months of warnings and nonstop public service announcements weren't enough for some. It's human nature. You're going to wait till you have to do it. A recent survey showed many cities in the country were still far from DTV ready. In Albuquerque, almost 13% of households are totally unprepared for DTV. Or Memphis with almost 8%, and even Los Angeles with 7% of households not ready for the switch. And there's another problem. While bad reception has been a scourge in many areas since the dawn of television, those viewers often learn to put up with snowy, hazy pictures. But with digital TV, a weak signal can mean video lockup, something that looks like this. That's assuming you can even get the digital box to work. But it's not working right. Back at the senior center, Bob the handyman struggled with his new digital converter, but told me he's all for progress. There we go. Bob eventually got it to work, but how the rest of the country will adjust in June remains a little fuzzy. Daniel Seberg, CBS News, Burlington, Vermont.